Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Terra Genesis with our Earth playthrough episode 9 with the series. I apologize, it's been a while since I've uh, recorded one of these videos. I've just been super busy with work and everything. But, uh, I, and I haven't had a lot of time. I don't trust letting the planet run in the background because I'm afraid something bad's going to happen. So, let's go ahead and get started though. We've got... Um, let's actually take a look at the numbers here. So temperatures plus two a minute still. I could have swore I dealt with that. So it's plus two a minute. Pressures plus ten. Oxygen is minus seven. So we're bringing oxygen down, which is good. Water's going back up, which is good because it went down a little bit so we're good on that so everything's pretty good we just got to deal with temperature and pressure so let's take a look at those two areas and temperature should be really easy to fix we've got uh, the cooling plants here so if we go ahead and upgrade this cooling plant that should fix our temperature issue as for pressure it was plus 10 I believe so we have to lower that, which should also be an easy fix. We just got to build some sequestration plants. Uh, we've got a lower pressure anyways. So I'll go ahead and build two of them so that way they can be shut off. And I'm pretty sure that just spent pretty much all of our money. But that will balance both of those out. So that'll actually cancel out temperature, but we have to lower it. But we can deal with that later. Let's get it canceled out. Pressure will be almost canceled out. And then we can start lowering it. How about oxygen? We're lowering it at minus seven right now. And we have to take it down by a lot. So let's take a look at oxygen, minus seven. So if we wanted to slow this down, which we don't, but if we did, we could shut the minus four off. That would get us to minus three. Um. So how would I want to do that? I would want to build... Let's see. I would want to build something else. So I need to build more of these. If that would give me minus 8, and if I turn off a minus 12, that would leave... No, hold on a second. That would put us at minus 3. No, 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 minus 12, I'm, or minus 11, okay. And then if I turn this off, that would be plus one. Okay, we can we can deal with those numbers. We should be able to make that work. I think I've got that down pat. Okay, perfect, so we've got oxygen ready to be canceled out as well. Okay, and water was the last one. It's going up, which we needed to do. It's going up because of, we've got... The hab domes, that's the only thing that's increasing it. So we need to be able to cancel it out when the time comes. But the time's not here yet. We've already got geocisterns. Um, we're going to want to build more. Which we could do. But we don't have enough to do it. We can upgrade this one as well. We do have enough to do that. So let's spend the money on that. All right, so that will fix that issue. It'll start bringing the water level down. We're going to want to start bringing it down because we're going to hit this goal very quickly. So you want to get these in a lower number so it can be more easily monitored. Um, that means I need to build another geocistern. We saw how much that cost. Uh, why am I having so much problem with money? Only a thousand credits. And I'm losing them in a lot of facility maintenance. Oh. We're spending a lot to keep the biosphere alive. That makes sense. But we're also getting a lot from the biosphere. But it looks like we're spending more than we're getting. Well, believe it or not, if I sat down and added these up, they probably come pretty close to canceling each other out. Believe it or not. 
Okay. So what would really help us at this point would be the ice launcher, which I can build. Uh, if we take a look at the ice launcher, it will do minus 10 pressure. So that would actually cancel out the carbon fixer. So I wouldn't have to do anything to cancel that out, but it is a, a minus 120 water, which we don't need to do right now unless we upgrade our hab units or we build new ones. But if we build more hab units, we have to cancel out the oxygen, which means we have to build another carbon fixer, which means we add another 10 pressure. So it becomes a vicious cycle. But if we upgrade these, well, it, I wish it would tell me, but it won't tell me. But if we upgrade these, I think it's 15 oxygen, 30 water. Still no reason to build the ice launcher. So I'm gonna have to find money someplace else. Satellites will be the way to do it. The space elevator will give us money. So I need to get to the space elevator. To do that, I have to get down to the spaceport, which I could do. So we don't have anything researching now and I don't have the money to, but we're gonna wanna get transit network here soon. Yeah, transit network, then we can get the spaceport, then we can build the space elevator. It's going to cost a lot of money, though, and take a lot of time. But that's something we need to start working towards. I'm going to spend my point here. Next point, 7 billion population, so it just keeps going up and down. I'll never get to 7 billion population, so I'm only going to be able to get my culture points by acquiring them through random events. Which I've done pretty good with. We're at 45% victory. But we still got a long ways to go before this is a perfect planet. Plus two a minute. Plus ten a minute. Okay, so those will be canceled. This is going to be a little bit lower. No, higher. And then we're going to be able to shut it off. And water is going to be a little bit lower, which is good. How's population doing? Are we finally starting to get people? Plus 37. Featured in a hit musical. Let's see, native birth rate actually not helping us in most of these other ones. So the only population we're gaining in a lot of these other places is just migration. Is there any colony that's like a risk? See, oxygen is pretty big, but if you notice, population hasn't really gone up because pressure and water aren't having any luck with that. I have 102,000 credits. Could I maybe alter that? Let's see. If I wanted to work on pressure here. Okay, I'm already building these and those have to be built. Although I could get just one to minus 10 instead of building two. So let's say we do cancel one of these. And then I put in this, which doesn't, it only increases population. So it's not like these ones, which give us negative bonuses to the oxygen or pressure. That'll at least start increasing it by plus eight. I won't have enough money for water here, but is there, yeah, and there's room for it though when we do want it. And we'll need 250,000, okay. So we'll probably save up for that as well. All right, so we've got a lot of things that we're saving up for. Um, overall, it's not too bad. I, I do promise I'll try to get these videos out a little bit more often. I know I'm kind of slacking on them a bit, but uh, it does take time to wait for certain things to tick by and to be accomplished, but we've almost got the planet back under control and that was a huge part of it. Once it's back under control, it should go fairly quickly. It's going to be mainly just rebuilding the biosphere. Right now, the biosphere is completely messed up and that's primarily because of the... Um... Primarily because of the oxygen levels. That's what I'm trying to say. The oxygen levels are all messed up. Once this goes down, we'll see the biosphere actually probably come back to life. Oxygen pretty much killed everything off. So, All right. With that being said, though, I want to thank you all for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time.